Hello again, uh, this is Dr. Singh. I am uh, uh, starting to give you an overview of uh, week one uh, during our, uh, this uh, term on terrorism. Uh, in this uh, week, uh, we want to get a conceptual overview, including the history, the meanings, and various typologies or forms of terrorism, including uh, suicide terrorism that I have termed in my book. I am going to talk about that in a minute uh, 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 as terror side. But anyway, uh, I'm, uh, I want to mention uh, before I go into the video that I am using two books that are listed in each uh, of your weeks. Uh, one is by Martin, it is a nationally one of the best sellers uh, in this field. Uh, then I have my own book uh, that I that go, came out last year. Uh, I am using that one uh, and I want to mention something about that. Uh, my book is mainly based on research. It is not really a textbook, but I am using this in order to uh, let you know and see how I interpret or how I have studied some of these issues including uh, general uh, forms of terrorism and some focus on uh, suicide terrorism or terror side and also uh, some explanations, some impact, social impact of terrorism. And uh, I have quite a bit of focus on uh, in the book on uh, uh, prevention. But one thing is that uh, uh, my book is uh, based on data that I have collected in the US as well as in India. And uh, I got uh, received some grants, research grants from federal government, also from Indian University. Uh, as well as our own university. So, uh, that way I will share with you my interpretations based on some research. Martin's book is uh, very helpful. It also has some theories and concepts, but also it will provide you some of the examples more focus on activities and ev events and groups uh, that have been involved in terrorism. Uh, so, uh, it is a little different focus than I have which is mine is mainly conceptual and Martin uh, is takes a broader look and uh, goes over certain uh, events uh, that will be useful for you to understand. In the week one, uh, we need to understand the meaning of terrorism to begin with as a unique form of violence uh, and violence is a reality of human society, but terrorism is a unique form of uh, violence that has been developing for the past few years, uh, so to say, I would say mo mostly like three to four decades. It has really caught up uh, the attention of human beings in almost all countries. Uh, it is becoming a major issue, one of the major issues related to uh, human activity. Uh, in this uh, week, in during this week, uh, uh, I, I would like you to uh, read very carefully uh, both these books and the chapters that I have mentioned, particularly on uh, uh, the bag the providing background to our other uh, future activities during other weeks and get started with some assignments uh, that I have been uh, I have been listing in the syllabus and that will give you some uh, ideas how your other weeks are going to be going on with various activities. Now, one assignment that I like you to think about is a position paper that will be due toward the end of the term in the fifth week, uh, but I like you to start thinking about that because uh, various people as you will see have taken positions, uh, theoretical positions or their own perspectives on uh, interpreting or understanding uh, terrorism issues and problems. Uh, you might have some of your own, or one of your own perspectives, one of your own ideas, whether you uh, use the example of why women are getting involved in terrorism lately or what is the role of religion from your angle, from your point of view uh, or perspective. So, that position paper will uh, help you to put uh, your ideas during this term together toward the end of the term. Uh, other thing is that when you are uh, dealing with various forms of terrorism, you will find suicide terrorism as very challenging, very complex, 
very difficult to understand. Uh, and uh, I have a chapter in that and uh, Martin's book also has dealt with uh, suicide terrorism quite a bit. So, uh, you look into these various forms including some historical background. Again, do not start memorizing any history or any specific events, but understand these in order to show your uh, appreciation and critical thinking. How has this process of violence been developing or, or, or have been taking different forms uh, or various shapes and trends uh, within uh, uh, activities in human society? Uh, largely, uh, of course, focusing uh, very much on American society that how like after 9-11, our life has changed in so many ways and uh, uh, we have been uh, developing all kinds of uh, ideas and research activities as well as uh, various uh, strategies of dealing with uh, terrorism at the global level and in specific uh, within uh, for, for the United States. So, um, uh, this, uh, this week will introduce you to the process of this course. And thank you for your involvement and uh, I will be talking more about other weeks. Thank you.